Question 14. Whittle IO, a technology startup, wants to archive the current state of a virtual machine hosting an early version of its Windows-based application. A backup administrator decides to use the VeeamSIP feature, but it appears Microsoft VSS is not being performed inside the virtual machine. What is the cause? Okay, so first we might want to make sure we know what VeeamSIP is. This is a uh, sort of one-time uh, backup. And uh, we could, uh, of course, go and uh, take a, a look at the user guide. Veeam user guide, Veeam zip. Take a peek here. Okay, so we see here we basically uh, could, ah, uh, oh, this is uh, not the right uh, place to take a look at it. Let's say creating Veeam zip. So here we've right click on some uh, VMs, uh, actually two, but it could also just be a single one. So what can we do? We can specify some place to store it or it could be a backup repository. If it's a folder, then some credentials might be needed. We can schedule some automatic deletion of it. We can schedule uh, automatic encryption. We have a compression down here, and then it says guest processing. And uh, there's a checkbox, disable guest key essence. So if I select this checkbox, if I turn on this checkbox, it will disable guest key essence, meaning we'll get crash consistent backups. So the real question here, of course, is then how is it handling this guest processing? Now, normally when you do regular backup jobs and you enable guest processing, it's what we call application-aware processing, which means uh, the guest interaction proxy will inject a runtime, a sort of non-persistent agent from Veeam into the guest, which means we need credentials, but I don't see any guest credentials here, which means we have the second option in the regular backup jobs which is to call, for example, Hyper-V uh, interaction services or, uh, sorry, integration services, or it could be uh, VMware tools that we're interacting with. And then VMware tools, in this case, could be doing this. So if we uh, go up a little bit here, we can even see here, by default, it will use VMware tools key essence to create it transactionally consistent. Okay, so let's go back and take a look. Uh -huh. So there's a few uh, options here. VMware tools is installed. Well, that, that doesn't seem like a, an issue. That seems like a, a, a good thing. A checkbox disable guest key essence is unchecked. Okay. So if this is unchecked, it means this is enabled. If it's checked, it means it is disabled and it was not being performed. So since this is unchecked, that's not an issue. Credential for application where processing has not been specified, but as we can see, there is no place to do that. So this can clearly not be the issue. A non SID 500 administrator account has been specified. Again, we can't specify this account, but what is this SID 500 thing? It's basically the built in uh, either domain administrator or local administrator. So the account that's actually called administrator. Um, this is to, uh, we can use this account to bypass some uh, user account control, so-called UAC, but uh, there's no relevance to this here. So if this is not being performed and uh, we don't have this checkbox here, the most likely cause is that VMware Tools is not installed. And because of that, we can't execute Microsoft VSS.